Hi guys, Peter Finch here and welcome down to St. Anne's Old Links and I have a putter review for you, quite a classic putter as well. Now this is the Bettinardi BB1F and it is, it's an old school design with an old school manufacturing process which has been kind of funked up a little bit. But first of all, let's just talk you through the specifications and what you can expect from this putter. So everyone really knows Bettinardi from kind of their childhoods pretty much. Bettinardi would be like some of the best putters around, really on par with Scotty Cameron's. This putter itself, the F, is kind of a ridge milled and fades into the actual putter head, um, which kind of gives it a very, very classic design. It's not as, I've already done a review on like the arm lock putter and the technology in this is a hell of a lot less than it is in the arm lock, but that's just because it is such a classic putter. Um, it's 353 grams, it's mild carbon steel, all Bettinardi putters, they are milled from the same billet of steel. Uh, it's got a green grip, <laughs> which um, I'm not entirely 100% sure on. It's got three degrees aloft. This is very much a toe hang putter, uh, whereas the arm lock putter that I kind of tried before was a face balanced you can see here how the toe is dropping down so this is a toe balanced again much more like what you'd call a classic design and it is true that kind of when young or certainly when I was younger Bettinardi putters were the putters to have and they're kind of honeycomb face this really stood out from the crowd but for some reason over the last few days they I don't know they just don't seem to be as popular but Bob Bettinardi is still out there still designing and making these absolutely wonderful sticks. Um, I've had a few puts with these, uh, with this already, and I have to say, it is true that from like a purely milled putter, the feel is fantastic, and the feel from this is so, so solid. It really, really is. I do like this a lot. So, now the black finish on this putter, it does frame the ball like really, really well. It looks, it looks really nice. I'm not sure of the exact technical term, but because of the way that the finish has been applied, you kind of get a little bit of a rainbow effect. So you get lots of different colors where a little bit of water drops on and it stains it slightly. And that kind of adds to the appeal, if I'm honest with you, it looks even better that way. Um, it does look very, probably the best way of describing it to someone who's not very, kind of confident over their putts. It does look quite an unforgiving putter. So it's very much just that blade design, that neck kind of flows in. You do feel if you catch it out of the heel or the toe, it's not gonna give a massive amount of forgiveness. And when it does actually start to wander out the sweet spot, there is kind of a noticeable difference in feel, although that has gone in. There is a noticeable difference in the feel when it comes out of the toe or the heel. Positives on this, it looks brilliant when you actually look down on it, it looks visually very, very appealing. So some of the negatives on this putter, as you kind of saw from that last put, yes, when it comes kind of slightly out of the toe or the heel, the feel isn't as forgiving as you would do a more mallet design putter. But if you're buying this style of putter, you can't really expect that from pretty much any make. You know, if you do start striking out of the center, the strike's gonna suffer anyway. That doesn't really matter what you get. However, I don't think this will be suited to someone who is a little bit nervous over the two, three footers. I think they might need something slightly bigger behind the ball, but that's very much down to personal preference. Like I said, I love the look of this putter. Things that I'm not quite keen on, I'm not quite keen on the green, kind of writing in the green logo. When you're actually kind of looking down at the putter, you don't see that. So you don't see the green on the actual club head because that's hidden by the neck and it's also on the back of the putter, so you're not gonna see it. So. In that regard, obviously it doesn't affect it. It's probably more from a cosmetic standpoint as you pull it out of the back. The shaft I like, it's got like this brushed silver. I think that looks pretty cool to be fair. And then the green grip, I can give or take that. I prefer just a nice black grip to actually match the head. So overall, it's just a, a classic, fantastic feeling putter, which is a lovely way. I've tried it over a few different distances as well, and it does feel very, very good. Slight negatives, not great from off center strikes, but like I said, that's exactly what you would expect from this design of putter. But even from there, it does feel still quite nice, and I'm not massively keen on the colors. But when you put it down behind the ball, and it's actually framing it, you can't deny but say it's just a fantastic looking club. Right guys, let me know what you think. Please comment in the box below, share the video around, like it, do what you want with it, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you want more reviews, comment in the box below and try and get some done.